What up guys, we're back with another reaction video in episode 3 of Machine Drum Mondays. This next drummer that we're going to be checking out actually has been a request from several people over the past few weeks. It is Dark Side for the band Mugwa. And yes, I had to look up how to pronounce it correctly. This is going to be a live drum performance of the song Exercises in Futility. And it is from a show that they did in 2019. So we're going to go ahead and check this out and see what Mr. Darkside has for us today. This is also my very first time checking out anything by this band. So this is going to be a completely fresh experience for me. Okay, before we even get started with any playing, <laughs> he's drumming. Okay, first of all, all black, black hoodie, black mask. You can't see anything about this guy. Wow, already. Um, the, the, the air of intrigue and mystery is definitely there. He's not using his real name, and you can't even see what he looks like. Hey, we got some atmosphere here. I don't know what size sticks he's playing with, but uh yeah, they're they're pretty large. Nothing but straight power there. Also takes a lot of practice to use sticks of that size too on a regular basis, especially if he's going to be playing anything quick. I like his kit. I like that look. I like those embellishments there. A lot of build up and a lot of atmosphere going into this song. All right, let's see. Uh, first, before I mention what's going on here, he's playing straight pocket, as they say. This already, the song has only been going on for less than uh, less than two minutes, and we're in the first verse now, apparently. And he's not embellishing the verse parts with a whole bunch of crazy fills or anything like that. I can already see how his musicality shines through because he's allowing the lead vocalist to be able to get their message across without adding and compounding a whole bunch of crazy fills and chops behind it. He's just marking the end of the phrase with, with a few extra cymbal hits and that's it. And also it looks like uh, he's, those don't look like axis pedals. Those might be trick pedals, but the beaters are definitely not trick beaters. Those look like Pearl Eliminator beaters. Uh, which they're a little heavier than like the trick or the axis beaters, so you probably get a little bit more power using beaters like that. Oh, open it up now.
Okay, nice bell work. The way that he's playing his bass drums are a perfect example of how to do very long uh, 16th note roll bass drum patterns in a way that is the most conservative, like for your muscle endurance. He's using very small muscle groups in order to generate his bass drum strokes, which takes a lot of practice and a lot of control to be able to do that because it's much easier to be able to control the larger muscle groups in your legs versus your smaller muscle groups like your... Um, like around your ankles and your, and your calves, etc. So doing this, he can he can keep these patterns going for as long as the song dictates for without tiring himself out. He's also taking perfect advantage of the uh, the midway point of the pedal or the fulcrum of the pedal where he can generate the most power per stroke, but also allow the uh, the bass drum pedal to do uh, its lion's share of the work, so to speak. I tell you what, if this song doesn't convince drummers to get a secondary bell system, I don't know what would. It could just be for this song. Again, I'm not sure because this is my first experience with this band. But Dark Side, I've noticed him several times throughout this song. He does what's almost a small variation of what could potentially be involved with the fill, but he actually uses that as part of his backbeat. And that gives like this air of robustness to the backbeat and, and gives it a lot more flavor and a lot more style without overly complicating the, uh, the overall arrangement. This has such an old school uh, thrash metal kind of feel to it.
Okay, that that caught me completely by surprise. I was not expecting them to go back into the full time feel. Holy f. So, for the drummers that appreciate larger kits, it's for stuff like this. You know, as Dark Side, there's not a drum or a cymbal sound source that has gone untouched. In just this song alone, he's, he's definitely keeping his options wide open. And that's the advantage to having larger kits. Of course, the roadies are going to be upset about the teardown and uh, having to get it all set up, but that's a whole other story. The last <laughs> and then some over on the stage next to us has to start playing while we're playing. How pathetic amateur piece of you are. This bell work is is almost cussed. This bell work is crazy. <laughs> Bravo, gentlemen. Bravo. All right. Wow. Well, I am officially intrigued. Dark Side is a very interesting drummer. He he fully takes advantage of everything that he has in front of him as far as the sound sources of his kit. He has incredible bass drum endurance because a large part of that song was just 16th note double bass all the way through. Not to mention he's performing live dressed head to toe all black, a hoodie, his face is covered. If that isn't a testament to optimized cardiovascular health i don't know what is so yeah this was great i'm glad i checked this out and thank you everybody for the recommendations to check out this band so in any case if you guys enjoyed the reaction uh like comment subscribe again if you would be so inclined to do so uh it it helps out the, the analytics quite a bit actually youtube is very big on engagement and watch time and stuff like that so yeah anyways i got a few more video ideas planned actually I'll, there's another one i want to release later on today as well too so i'm gonna actually get started on that as soon as i get done rendering and editing this again thank you guys and i will catch y'all on the next video